and Flare community. This is going to be a brief presentation on the Flare network. Let's get started. What is the Flare network? Flare is the world's first Turing complete federated Byzantine agreement network. Let's break this statement down. We are essentially describing Avalanche, the consensus algorithm of the Flare network. If you're familiar with the XRP ledger, you will be aware of its efficiency, and this is derived from the consensus algorithm which the XRP ledger developers pioneered, a federated Byzantine agreement. This consensus algorithm provides a solution for the Byzantine general's problem, but this might be potentially a video for another day. We can further dissect this statement by discussing the fact that Flair is Turing complete. What does that mean? Well, Turing complete refers to a machine that, given enough time and memory, along with the necessary instructions, can solve any computational problem, no matter how complex it is. Many blockchains we know today, such as Bitcoin, XRP and Stellar, are Turing incomplete. This is mainly to reduce complexity within the system, which could affect performance in other areas. Ethereum, on the other hand, is built as a Turing complete blockchain. This is important because it needs to understand the agreements which make up smart contracts. By being Turing complete, Ethereum has the capability to understand and implement any future agreement, even those that have not yet been thought of. In other words, Ethereum's Turing completeness means that it is able to use its code base to perform virtually any task as long as it has the correct instructions, enough time and processing power. Flare Network is a distributed network that integrates the Ethereum Virtual Machine EVM. As we discussed earlier, Ethereum is Turing complete. As Flare Network integrates with the Ethereum Virtual Machine, it can be used to create two-way bridges between networks such as Ethereum and the XRP Ledger. This means that it allows the XRP token to be used with smart contract functionality. What problems does Flare Network aim to solve? The Flare Network aims to solve two main issues. Expanding the capability of digital assets to allow trustless use of smart contracts. Did you know that 75% of the value that exists on public blockchain projects are currently unable to utilize smart contracts? Flare will change this by allowing assets such as XRP to be used within the Flare network and benefit from smart contract functionality. This brings a whole new use case for the token such as decentralized finance, commonly known as DeFi. The second issue that Flare Network aims to resolve is the inevitable scaling issues with current smart contract blockchain networks. The majority of new networks use proof of stake or its variants. These protocols derive network safety from their native token. For example, once Ethereum switches to proof of stake in Ethereum 2.0, the security of the network will be entirely dependent on the validators who stake the token. This means that, by extension, the security will be dependent on the token and the amount of it that is staked. Flare's consensus protocol doesn't require this and provides alternative uses for the native token, Spark. What is the Spark token? Spark is the native token on the Flare network. Its base use case is similar to that of other native tokens, to prevent spam attacks. If transactions would be free, spamming and congesting the network with useless transactions would also be free. But Spark offers more, much more. In addition to the base use case, the Spark token can be used for the following functionality. As collateral with decentralized applications, for providing data to an on-chain oracle or to participate in the protocol governance. These three components aim to enable an ecosystem of applications that rely on Spark called Spark Dependent Applications, SDA. SDAs 
can also allow for trustless representations of tokens on other networks, even ones that don't natively support smart contracts. Can you see where this is going? This is where XRP comes into the picture. FXRP. What is it? Upon the launch of the Flare network, built on top of Flare is a protocol to safely enable trustless issuance, usage and redemption of XRP. This protocol is called FXRP. XRP safelessly and trustlessly becomes FXRP on Flare, secured by Flare's native token Spark as collateral. Now what does this achieve? XRP now effectively exists on a Turing complete network and once there, trustless interoperability with other networks is feasible, both through interoperability protocols such as Cosmos and Polkadot or with Ethereum via well-defined bridge protocols. Remember when we talked about how Flare enables smart contract capability on networks that don't natively support it? That's exactly what's going to happen with FXRP. It allows XRP to be used with smart contracts and without the need for a central party to issue wrapped tokens. In other words, in a trustless manner. FXRP is simply the first F asset available on the Flare network. As Flare grows, other assets will benefit from the enhancements the network can bring. FBTC, FXLM, FLTC. You get the picture. This just goes to show the scope of Flare Network, which will eventually bring smart contract functionality to many of the digital assets of which it is currently absent. Voting and Network Governance Flare is governed entirely by Spark token holders through voting. Certain decisions can be made in an automated manner on-chain, such as changing the transaction cost, changing the collateral ratio, or changing the creation fee, for example. Other decisions regarding the Flare network, such as adding new F assets, changing network consensus parameters, or more complex long-term updates require a code change. The Flare white paper sets out a proposal, development and testing regime for manual changes which can be initiated and voted on by Spark token holders. To help implement that process and execute the agreed changes, there will be a Flare Foundation. The Flare Foundation will be a non-profit organisation to be incorporated in the coming months. The Flare Foundation will be responsible for five key areas. Grants, investments, research and development, education, publicity and partnerships. The Foundation will be highly transparent and will generate two reports per year on its activities and expenditure. The foundation is intended only to take direction from the Spark token holders and not to set the agenda themselves. Written into the foundation's constitution will be the obligation that, if a government vote agrees that the foundation no longer serves a beneficial purpose, then the foundation must wind down its activities and burn all of its remaining token holdings at the earliest opportunity. Spark issuance 100 billion Spark tokens will be created to mirror the quantity of XRP that exists. Around 45 billion of that will be distributed to XRP holders with the remainder going to the Flare Foundation. A snapshot was taken upon the first ledger close on the 12th of December 2020. If you are holding XRP at this particular time, there is a good chance you can claim your Spark tokens. If you had your XRP stored on a hardware wallet such as a Ledger or Trezor or similar device, there is a claim process that you must manually do within the next five months. Details of how you can claim can be found in the description of this video. If you were holding your XRP on a participating exchange at the time, you can sit back and let the exchange handle everything. A list of participating exchanges will also be included in the description of this video. 
The initial distribution of Flare Network's Spark token will commence upon the launch of the network itself, and will consist of 15% of your allocated Spark. The remaining 85% of your allocated Spark will be distributed over a minimum of 25 months and a maximum of 34 months. This equates to roughly 3% of your total allowance each month until the end of the distribution period. Where can you pick up Spark? As the Flare network is yet to launch, Spark does not exist. There are exchanges, however, which have implemented a Spark IRU, which effectively gives you early access to the token. The most liquid exchange offer in Spark at the moment is Bitru. This will then be redeemed for Spark automatically upon the launch of the Flare network. Check the link in the description of this video where you can sign up for Bitru Exchange and receive bonus XRP. So let's summarize. The Flare network is a distributed network that integrates with the Ethereum virtual machine. Flare uses a consensus protocol called Avalanche, which has been adapted to work with Federated Byzantine Agreement. The native token of the Flare network is Spark, and it can be used for collateral with dApps, providing data to on-chain oracles, and participation of protocol governance. F assets, such as FXRP, can be minted to bring smart contract functionality to the underlying asset. I hope this gives you a brief overview of the Flare network. In future videos, I will be delving a little bit deeper into the system. Feel free to like the video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe if you wish to learn more about the Flare Network ecosystem. If you would like a particular topic to be covered in my next video, please feel free to comment your suggestions in the comments down below. With that being said, I would like to thank you for watching the video. Until next time, I'm out.